Welcome back everybody. Yet again, thank you very much to all those new subscribers and all the comments from the previous videos. Uh, we're moving on to another project now. Uh, it's something that's been on my wish list, if you like, or bucket list. It's a coaxial open baffle speaker and what I'm going to use is uh, for the base we're going to use a 15 inch eminence beta an eminence 12 cx coaxial speaker and a bishop sound brc135 high frequency unit which bumps through the center so it's going to look something like that uh, on this occasion I'm making it out of 18mm ply because that's what I got then I'll knock up a, a baffle board and a bit of a foot and a bit of a support just to see if this works um, and I'm going to be running it off of a DSP mini well actually it's going to be two mini DSPs because this is a three way speaker and we'll see how it goes and it's spatial in America they do something similar um, but it's for many years I've been thinking about doing it and now's my opportunity to so this will be based along those lines and you've all seen the Eminence 15 inch driver uses the base this is a, a UK product from Bishop Sound BRC135 uh, inch and a quarter 18 TPI thread industry standard and in this box I'll just move this camera back a bit in this here box Oh, nice bit of packaging is the uh, Eminence 12 inch. Let me just move this box out of the way. 12 inch coaxial drive unit, uh, whereby this dust cap here is acoustically transparent. And on the back, there's this threaded portion here and inside there's a seat which on this drive unit there's a little rubber washer if you like nylon washer Whee. and this screws on there And you've got some nice sprung loaded terminals and standard bayonets on there and there you have a two-way speaker in one in effect there's um i've done a bit of research <clears throat> some people like them some people don't uh, i'm going to find out and let you know uh, but in under this dust cap there's a, there's a flared cone if you like not very big and this actually forms the rest of the flared horn as it would be uh, they use this is used as a reflecting agent for the for the rest of the horn uh, so this will be on top and the 15 inch will be on the bottom So this is where the 12 inch where this one's going to go and the 15 inch will go in the bottom uh, and reading between the lines you can do a few things with it crossover wise so if you can imagine 
Uh, the low frequency comes up, goes across, drops down. So this is the 15 inch. So I rise at 20. I don't. I don't use 20 hertz. I don't use anything lower than 20. Uh, I read about the 500. This will drop, roll off, and this is 12. Um, a 12 dB Butterworth. Butterworth. Uh, and then this this one takes over so we come up at 500 and we cross and it just does that and at 2500 Hertz we cross over and then this one takes over so this comes up 2500 and that just carries on so there's your base, there's your 12 inch, and there's the high frequency unit there. So there's your 12 dB. Uh, <clears throat> and that's what we're going to do, something like that. See how we get on. Uh, I think this is probably flexible, and I know that's flexible as well. Uh, there are some people that say that you can actually roll this off much earlier. Uh, but I'm going, to try, I'm going to start off with this and we'll see how we go. Well, this is just an introduction to what we're going to do. So thanks for watching all the previous video videos. Uh, it be about a week or so. I think it won't take me too long to knock this up. Um, get it in the system. Do some measurements. Uh, I should be using Roo, room equalization, just to get this EQ'd up so that they all sum together nicely. Uh, I'm not sure how a passive system would work, a passive crossover. Uh, I, I might look into that, but because I've got two mini DSP units, two 4HDs. Um, it's easier for me to do that and cheaper as I've got them. When you start buying all the, the, the passive crossover components, you could run into a, in the UK a couple of hundred pounds. Um, so that's that's that bit. That's the intro. Uh, thanks for watching. To Laverda, the implementer. And I'll see you soon. Keep safe. Keep well. Again, thanks for your comments. Thanks to the new subscribers. All the best.